Hey, what's up guys, and welcome to this video. This video is all about this weird thing hanging around my neck, the LG Tone Infinim Bluetooth headset. Now this is a Bluetooth headset that is aimed at someone that wants good audio quality while still having a very functional and very convenient Bluetooth headset. Now its main feature is that it's neck shaped, it fits around your neck, and it has these retractable headphones, which means that you never really need to worry about damaging your headphones or just having really unportable headphones ever again without a sort of odd looking headset. I have to say that although it's not necessarily something you'll see every day, I think it does look quite good around your neck. But is this a product you should be buying or is this one you should be staying well away from? Well, let's start by taking a proper look at what it actually is. Essentially, it's a Bluetooth headset that connects to your phone via Bluetooth, as you've probably guessed, and then plays all your music and all your calls and things through the earphones. You've also got a microphone within the headset itself, so you can easily talk to people without having to have a phone up against your ear. This is essentially what a classic Bluetooth headset is meant to do. If we take a closer look at what the actual product looks like. It comes in a range of colors and it's got this flexible top up here. This means it will fit a wide variety of neck sizes. Moving down, you'll notice there are two buttons, the play pause button and then a call end button. If you hold this down, you can use things like Google Now and then actually be able to call people without having to pick up your phone. If we look at the sides, you'll see there is a button right here. So this is used to control your music. And then on the other side is another button also used to control your music. They also have some other functions as well, but I have to say it did take a while to actually get used to what they are, so I would advise actually looking at the instruction manual. Inside we have the on-off button, we've got the charging port, and then we've also got the uh, buttons here which will retract your headphones, just like so. So that's what the product actually is, but what's it actually like to use? Well I have to say, whenever I was wearing it, and like now, you do kind of forget you're wearing it. And if you have a collared shirt, actually like I'm wearing now, you, then you could even tuck it in your collar and then it really wouldn't be very obvious. I don't think it looks bad, I think it actually looks pretty good. I did ask a few people on Twitter and they didn't really seem to agree. It is probably something that is quite techy, but if you like that, I think you will like the design. Using the earbuds is very simple because you don't need to press any buttons and especially once you're used to wearing the headset you can pull them out and put them in your ears very easily. The earbuds are very comfortable and they do come with two different sorts um, to fit your ears. So if you don't like the ones that are on there at the moment you can change them out to something that might suit you a little bit better. I'd probably like to see a few more different earbuds. I know when you buy um, a decent pair of earphones these days, you normally get a whole bag full, so maybe that's slightly disappointing, but I don't have any problems with the stock earbuds that come with it. I think the biggest problem I have with the whole thing though is the fact that the earbuds just are a little bit too short, and I mean the actual cable is a little bit too short. Now it's fine, but it's never better than fine. Now, if I move, I don't really have much flexibility, and especially if I want to do something like running, the whole unit will just move up and down as I move my head. So if the cable is literally another, five, say, 5-10 centimeters longer, this wouldn't be a problem, so it is slightly disappointing. The cable itself I haven't had a problem with, but it does seem quite thin, and I am kind of worried about whether it will break if I ever get it caught. Luckily enough, the convenient design, though, means that that is quite unlikely, because you're not ever going to have to worry about un untangling your headphones, and you're not going to have to worry about where you've put your headphones, because it will live around your neck. If you are the sort of person that, say, lives in a place like London or any big city and you're out and about commuting, then this probably is quite useful. Now, you can wear it while driving, but personally, I wouldn't want to do that as I like to have my ears free of any distractions while I'm driving. But they do use some press shots of people using them in the car, and I'm, I'm sure you can do that if you want to, but that's not my sort of thing. The actual functionality of the device is pretty good. The buttons are all very easy to use and once you know what they are, it's quite easy to do so. Whether you just wanna simply skip to the next track or whether you actually do want to use the voice button and call someone, it's all very easy to do. And the only real problem I had, I think, was down to the phone itself because this would be things that I'd just leave the home or I'd just be outside of Wi-Fi range and then Google Now wouldn't be able to connect. But I think that's more down to the phone and the fact that I'm just leaving Wi-Fi rather than a fault of this device. On the whole, if I wanted to call someone, it was pretty easy to do. Sound quality from calls is very good 
and people I asked said the microphone quality was clear. I'm not really sure it makes too much difference, but there you go. The real thing though is the sound quality. If you're buying something like this, you're going to want good sound quality. There's no good having a headset that is pretty poor in the sound quality department. And I don't think this is really going to disappoint anyone, but I don't think it will blow anyone away either. Yes, it is better than a stock pair of headphones, no doubt about it. The midtones are all pretty good and did impress, but maybe the low end and the high end did leave a little bit to be desired. This is probably because I'm someone that is used to using high end headphones, and I think the main thing is here, you would probably be better off getting a separate pair of headphones at the same price if you wanted sound quality, but then again that probably is quite obvious because you're paying for the convenience of a Bluetooth headset and you're paying for a Bluetooth headset that is not just a standard pair of headphones. So if you're the sort of person that wants really good sound quality, maybe this isn't the right product for you, but if you want someone, some, if you are someone uh, that wants quite a convenient product, then it's definitely something to look at. Battery life of the device was very good. It's rated for a stupid amount of hours in standby. I believe it was about 500 or so, which is very, very good. And I did charge it once, but the whole thing never ran out of battery throughout my three or so weeks of testing. So it's pretty impressive there, but I haven't ever been out commuting all day and been using it all day. So I can't really say whether you'll get an all day battery life if you're gonna be using this thing non-stop. But it is rated to about 13 hours, or might be 12, 12 or 13 hours of actually uh, playback. So I don't think anyone's gonna complain there. Now, there are a few miscellaneous items. The first one would be dropouts, and I have to say, on the whole, it's been very good, and I've only noticed like one or two dropouts throughout my use, and those were only for a split second, um, and that's just kind of bluetooth for you, really. No problems there. But then the other thing was that I live in Portsmouth, and Portsmouth is renowned for being quite windy because it's on the sea. And I have to say that when I was out and about, actually walking through the streets, I did notice that I could hear the wind coming through uh, the headset whenever I was playing music. Now, the louder the music, obviously, the more you're going to drown it out. But it's definitely something to note that there is not really that much sound isolation with these headphones. And if you are going to be wearing them in at busy sort of places all the time, that is probably something you should note. But that kind of leads on to the conclusion, really. This is a Bluetooth headset that is great at being a kind of innovative product. Um, I haven't really seen anything like it before. There are quite a whole range of Bluetooth headsets, but this is definitely something that's quite interesting and something that I do think you could actually have around your neck all day. Whether you want to though, that's really the question. Do you want to pay 65? I would say that's the cheapest I've seen this anyway. Uh, do you want to pay 65 pounds for a device that um, does all these things or do you want to pay 65 pounds to get the best sound quality possible? If you want the best sound quality possible you're better off going with a separate pair of earphones or headphones but if you do want the flexibility of a Bluetooth headset I would have to say this is definitely quite interesting and from a lot of the user reviews I've seen people definitely seem quite happy with it. So it's another one of those really if you're the sort of person that wants this sort of product it's pretty good but if you're not really the sort of person that kind of wants something like this, it's probably not for you. And that's why this product wins the Good Option Award. I don't think it's for everybody, but if you are the sort of person that's interested in a Bluetooth headset and wants something a little bit different, this is definitely something to check out. So thank you so much for checking out this video as always. Let me know what you thought of this video. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Uh, leave a comment down below or hit me up uh, at PCCentric on Twitter for more videos like this. Um, to answer any questions and things like that and for anything else do subscribe for more videos on PCs gaming and technology So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one